What's up guys? Um, so today is January 16th, uh, Thursday. At least it is for me. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be posting this, but hopefully it'll be around the same day. Um, and the reason I'm making this update is because I'm officially calling an end to my off season. Um, and I'm beginning to transition into my contest diet. Uh, so this past Saturday, uh, whatever the date was this past Saturday, um, is when I officially started cutting my macros back down. Um, I don't think I'm quite in a deficit yet, but I'm trying to gradually ease myself into that. Um, and the reason that I started my uh, diet now is uh, because I remember, or if you guys remember, my goal for this off season was to never get any more than 15 pounds over stage weight. And uh, I didn't. Um, I'm currently, my current average weigh-in, at least for this week, has been right around 185. Last week it was um, around 183. And that has, the difference has something to do with, uh, I guess, uh, the, what time we're going to sleep at because a lot of the times uh, if I'm up late at night studying I'll end up eating my last meal really late as well um, and I always weigh myself first thing in the morning so you can see how that might affect my weigh-ins um, but just for um, the sake of estimation let's say I'm 184 uh, which is exactly 15 pounds over my stage weight from this past season uh, so yeah that's about as fat as I want to get <laughs> um, and another thing I, I guess another reason I'm starting my diet now is just because uh, I am going to be competing in the men's open division this season um, and um, I'm not that big I mean on stage I'll probably be somewhere around 170-ish maybe a little bit more um, possibly even a little less we'll see um, but I'm not that big that I'm going to be bigger than a lot of the men's open competitors uh, so if I'm going to have any sort of chance of being competitive in the open um, it's going to come from conditioning and it's not going to come from me being bigger. So it makes a lot more sense for me to give, my, give myself more time to get conditioned than it does um, for me to spend a few more weeks to get big because realistically um, I would give myself maybe four more weeks to diet up and in four weeks it's not like I'm going to gain a pound of muscle or anything like that. Um, so I guess uh, we talk about my contest schedule um, but I'm not really 100% sure because uh, when I was looking on the NAMBF website, um, I'm not sure if the list of events is up to date or complete because it looks like there's only two contests in California this summer, which would be the Central Valleys and the Mayhem. Um, I really wanted to do the Central Valleys again because that was a fun contest last season, but unfortunately it's um, in the middle of June this year, uh, which is conflicting with my finals for spring quarter, um, so I won't be able to do that contest, but I will definitely do the Mayhem. Um, and I am trying to go to the, I think the Arizona OCB, I don't know what it's called. Um, but both the Mayhem and the Arizona show that I'm kind of doing, uh, the Open Divisions are both pro qualifiers. Um, and the reason that I want to enter pro, oh, by the way, um, I am still doing Teen Division in every contest that I can because this is my last season as a teen. I turned 20 on uh, August 3rd this year. So if I compete in any contest before then, I will be trying to do the Teen Division as well. Um, just so I don't have to feel so crappy about getting my ass kicked in uh, men's open. <laughs> but the reason I'm doing pro qualifiers in the men's open division is because, um, well, it's not because I think I'm going to win my pro card this season, because realistically I'm not. Um, the guys that are winning their pro cards, they're just so much bigger than me, uh, way more symmetrical, and just their muscle maturity is so much better. Um, one thing I do have is conditioning. Um, I can guarantee you guys that I will be at least as lean as anybody that gets on stage with me. Um, I know my conditioning last season wasn't that amazing, but I promise you it, it will be on point this season. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm doing pro qualifiers is more so just to see where I'm at compared to the guys that are winning their pro cards. Um, and like I said, obviously I'm going to be smaller, um, pro probably not as symmetrical, but at least in terms of conditioning I should be close. Uh, I just want to see how far off I am in terms of physical development um, so that whenever I come back for my pro card. Um, I kind of have an idea of what I should look like. And that's another thing, guys. I know I said last year that um, after this season, I would be taking a, a pretty long hiatus to get big, and whenever I came back, I would come back for my pro card. Um, and I'm not saying that I won't do that, but I just think that um, in this past offseason, I've learned quite a bit about my own potential or any natural athlete's potential to build muscle in the offseason. Um, and I don't think that taking a huge, um, long offseason is that much more beneficial than taking, um, I don't know, like a six month off season and six months to diet down. And I know a lot of people will contest that point and I understand, but the reason that I say that is just because 
I feel like as long as you don't get too fat, um, as long as you stay relatively lean as you diet up and get big, um, it shouldn't be that hard to diet down. Um, and when you take a really, really long off season, or at least when I envision myself doing that, I think it would be very easy to get distracted, um, sort of lose sight of your goals, and um, sort of not be as productive as you should or could be in your off season. Um, whereas if you compete every year, um, I, although that might be kind of hard on your body, um, and you might not make as much progress um, as efficiently, um, if you compete every year, you know you have a certain goal every single year, and you get on stage every year, so you sort of have that feeling fresh in your mind. Like for me right now, even though it's in the middle of January, I feel like I got off stage just last week or something like that. So all those memories of competing are fresh in my mind. Um, I'm just as motivated as I was the month of my last contest. Um, so it's easy for me to you know get in the gym, train, and get my macros and all that. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about uh, before this video ends is uh, my macros this offseason. Um, they got pretty damn high. Uh, my highest was 250 protein, 620 carbs, and 78 fat. Um, currently, I think I set my numbers at 250, um, 580, and 77 on high days. And low days is just 100 carbs less. Um, but I'll probably make another video about that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it looks like I'm out of time, so. That's about it for this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for a bunch of other stuff. I just gotta edit it and all that. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and especially subscribe. Peace.